practice number one in the books, guys. Uh, just good to get back out here. Seems like we just left the field, um, but it is good to get back out here. Uh, great enthusiasm, great attitude today. The guys came out to work. Lots of details. Obviously, offense working on you know some new things, you know some old things that we've done in the past, um, but some some really good stuff on offense. And, and uh, you know we got a lot of pieces to put together. I think uh, that'll be the the big thing. Spring ball is find out you know who the 2022 offense, defense, and special teams are going to be. So uh, it's good to get, I think we got nine or ten new guys out in today, so it's good to see uh, them get some work. So questions? How close is Nick to being 100%? Nick's 100%. Mm -hmm. He's 100% right now. I mean, How did he look today? He's back. He looked good. I mean, you know, we're not getting, you know, quarterback's never going to get hit, so it's, he wouldn't be 100%. We would not let him get hit. If we were going to live scrimmage today and the quarterbacks were going to be live, we would, you know, we wouldn't put him through that, but quarterbacks are not going to be live this spring. Um, so that's kind of where we are there. Um, you know, we're where we should be. We're going to install one today, and we'll just keep installing and uh, throwing stuff in, you know, at the kids. But they've done a good job picking it up. You know, we've had, you know, today's spring ball one, but we've had obviously, you know, you know voluntary meetings and, and different stuff that we've been able to go to some of our workouts where we've had an hour of football just to kind of install stuff there. So. Um, you know, it's, it's a work in progress, and uh, I feel good with where we are. Kids are picking it up well. Um, there's some rhyme and reason to the offense, and um, even with what we did last year, we you know, changed the terms a little bit in some things, and it made made, made more sense. Pat, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Pat, you got a lot of a lot of returning guys, but one group that seems to have the most turnovers: linebackers this year. You got Boss coming back, but a lot of new guys. How have you seen that group coming into just the early start of spring? You know, they've been good, you know, meetings. We'll find out today. Today, watching the tape today. Well, I'll let you know more, you know, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, I guess, after practice, just to see where they are and what they're doing. But um, it's hard to tell, you know, out the shorts. But the big thing we can see mentally, are they where they're supposed to be? Then they got to make a play. But the big thing is, are they able to line up? Are they executed properly? And then physically, are they going to make the tackle? We'll find out, you know, on Friday. What have you seen from Voss as a leader leading into spring ball? Just kind of like his his – his carrying himself around the lock around the team. Yeah, I mean Sebastian is, is a, you know maybe one of the smartest guys on the defense, if not the smartest guy in the defense. So he's great. You know we, we can challenge him mentally with a bunch of different stuff. Obviously he's gonna you know be huge in, in coaching the rest of the guys up. And coaches are meetings. He can, he's taken them for the last two months really in meetings since school started. He's been in there watching tape. You know with, with the, all the guys in that room just getting them coached up and we're not allowed to do it. So. He's been he's a coach on the field. Is Jordan Jordan taking that, that taking over that role a wide receiver? Yeah, I mean Jordan's still a quiet guy, but you know, I think you know, all those guys that next, you know, those guys are all gonna be Jordan's gonna be a guy that's gonna lead by example. Sebastier will lead by example, but also be a vocal guy. Um, I don't know if Addison's gonna be a vocal guy, we'll find out. How do you handle what happened last year? Do you remind them like, hey, this is a standard, this is what we want to do, or do you just what shut the door year? and move on to what next year? Last year? I don't even remember. You know, this is 2022. It's a different team. Uh, we're going to prepare the same way, Jeff. Um, and uh, go out and have fun. That's, that's the name of the game. Is get better every day, have fun. And, you know, what we did last year doesn't really matter. It's not going to help us win the football game this year. You know, I think the confidence will be high. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It's weird not having that. Um, it's weird not having all those guys out there. I mean, it doesn't matter who it is. I mean, it's, it's weird not having Phil Kennedy. Anybody to lose, um, you know, it's, it's always here. Um, but we've dealt with that for the last couple months, so uh, it's not even odd. He's going to be out here pretty soon on pro day. How's the transition been with uh, two new coaches? It's been about as good as it could be. Uh, you know, Coach, Coach, um, Coach Wood and Coach Signetti, I mean, it's been great. You know, it's always great when you get a new job. I mean, you never leave the office. I think they live in the office, you know. Uh, maybe they're sleeping, you know, uh, in the room next to Salem because he's always here anyway. So at least he says he is. Um, but it's been great. I mean, they're getting a lot of work done. It's time for them to you know, catch up mode. They get, you know, they've been working their tails off. So the transition been outstanding. It's like Heather a few weeks ago, just a contract Um, I think we're close. I mean, spring ball number one. That's the thing I'm worried about. The big thing is our assistant coaches got to take care of that with the priority number one, and then. We'll work on that. It's, it's, it's close. Of the guys who didn't practice today, are they going to practice at all this spring? Here, here, man. I can't. Some guys, yes. Some guys, no. Which ones? 
can't tell you. <laughs> can't tell you. You'll see it every day when you walk out there. Which one? Oh, he practiced today. Good. Uh, just during the, the winter workouts, were there any standout guys, guys that got there? Just looking at Gavin today, he seems to be pretty Yeah, there's a lot of guys. I mean, um, maybe I'll give you a little update on some of these guys. I mean, you look at the tight end position for example. I mean, Renda's like 255. All those guys, Cole Mitchell, they were all big and they were all fast and all strong. I mean, Coach Stackyard does a great job. And, and again, it's a small period of time. I mean, you think when they came into school in January, so you have January and February, it's been a month and a half of, of workouts. But the biggest one would come after spring ball is over when they get into summer workouts. It's a, you know, a big eight week period that they'll have even more. But our guys are, are stronger than they were, they're faster than they were. Uh, I really feel good about what Coach Stack and his staff have done. I know you've had time in meetings, but how has Slovis reacted on the field and the time that you saw You know, we'll look at the video tape, it's kind of hard. You watch him throw the ball, the ball comes you know, out of his hand really good. Um, you know, same thing with Nick. So you'll watch the tape and we'll you know, make those evaluations. But I'm happy with where he is. Uh, new offense, he's having fun and, and enjoying the process. Other than being injury free, what's the overall goal of spring football? To get through an injury free, number mm -hmm. one. And again, you know, we got a ton of objectives. You know, each position's got objectives that we want to get done. You know, offense, defense has objectives. Obviously, as a team, we have objectives, but um, you know, offensively, it's different than defense. Defensively, we want to you know replace the guys who are out of there and find out where our, our weaknesses are. And offensively, you know, you're you know combining two offenses together, trying to make it the best you can. So um, that's that's the objective is to get knowledge of the offense and uh, finish it up there. And that's I think that's the key. Any position changes? Not uh, that I can tell you it's important right now. No. I mean, there's a couple of safeties that don't really matter. Like Buddy Mack, I would say, is one guy that's weak to the outside linebacker. He's a quick twitch guy that I think will grow into that position. You know, watch the pick and see where he is. And we could always move him back. He's really smart. He understands the defense. So he can always go back and play safety. But we want to see what he has in back. I just don't really like to think of off the end. Start position. Final. The start position is like a third safety anyway, right? It really is. I mean, we don't play with the nickel, but we don't play with that, that star position. It's a guy that's a linebacker slash safety. He's got to be tough enough, you know, to be a linebacker, and he's got to be athletic enough to, you know, to play in space on these guys. Um, so it's a combination, and you know, we've done, you know, Sean Ado was a safety that moved to that position. So um, when you look back at him, I mean, so there's always, we've always made those moves and just getting closer to the ball and, and get him active. One more, Giants? Nice to have you. Sorry. Yeah, it's great to get him out there. You know, again, he's still we're still slow with getting him in there. He could, you know, he's ready to go, but we're just we'll be slow with him. I'm not sure what he did today. You see, I don't even know if he took a team left today or not, but uh, I think we're a little slow with him. But he's he's doing he's doing well. All right, coach, thank you very All much. Right. Thanks, guys.